In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated split screen using crop inside DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right into it. So I have in my timeline two clips, a frontal shot and a back shot. And I'm going to use crop to turn these two clips into a split screen. So for starters, I've dragged the two clips into the timeline, one on top of the other, the frontal shot on the top and the back shot on the bottom. And to see the bottom clip, all you have to do is disable the top clip by hitting D on the keyboard, like this. So let's begin. I'll re-enable my top clip, and now here in Inspector, just below Transform, you'll see the crop tool. And if it's closed, you just have to click on it and it'll open. And what cropping does, basically, is to remove the part of the frames that we don't want. And we can do that in four ways. Left to right, right to left, top to bottom, and bottom to top. In my case, I'm going to start cropping top to bottom, and we can do that by dragging this little circle over here, or by dragging the values, like this. I'll do the same in the bottom part. And now, here in Transform, I'll reposition the y-axis upwards, like this. Just a quick reminder, depending on your project's resolution and the framings of your clips, these properties will be different from mine, but the process will be pretty much the same. Now, I'll disable my top clip and mess around with my bottom one, and I'll do the same. I'll crop the top part, the bottom part, and reposition the clip below the top one. We can also do that by typing the numbers into these little boxes right here. Now I'll re-enable my top clip again, and let's see how it goes. Cool, and in a bit, I'm gonna show you how to animate this split screen, but before that, I'll show you a few more properties. For instance, here in Softness, we can soften up the edges of our crop, like this. And another way to manipulate the cropping is coming to this little arrow right here and activating this crop icon. Then, these circles will appear all around our clip, and we can manipulate them as we see fit, like this. Cool, now I'm gonna show you how to animate this effect. And since all the position and cropping properties have already been changed, all we have to do is come to second floor, select the top clip and activate a keyframe in position, in the top crop and in the bottom crop. And keyframes are basically moments in our clips where we tell Resolve that we want a specific effect to happen. So now, since we have the playhead right here, we'll do the same thing in the bottom clip. Keyframe the position, the top crop and the bottom crop. Now we'll go back two seconds and making sure our bottom clip is selected, we're gonna roll our cropping values all the way to zero. And here in position, we're gonna bring it down all the way, like this. In our top clip, we'll drag the cropping all the way to zero and the position 0 as well. Now let's see how it goes. And in order to make this effect look better, we can come to the keyframes in the beginning and activate Ease Out. Same with the bottom clip. And now in the final keyframes. and this will make all the movements of the clip look a lot smoother. So let's see how it goes. And if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what types of videos you want me to make. And if you want to learn more editing tricks and hacks, make sure to check out this video showing on your screen right now and I'll see you there.